try the other path. I did pick up a, what did I pick up? The short sword? I might look at that here and see about that because that'll have a kick. I love these long flowing combos from the scimitar though. They're so satisfying. At the bonfire, look upward. To this ladder? I can't do anything though, right? I tried to climb up here earlier. And then look outside. Oh, oh boy, oh boy. Let's take a safety beverage. It would be a real shame to have this undead take those souls away now. So that, okay. So that's where we were, we had looped back around. Man, that's crazy. I've seen, um, I've seen some like, diagrams and pictures of some of the cool ways that Dark Souls like folds back in on itself. Oh, I can close this? Good day, sirs. Um, but I guess Undead Berg is an area that I've never really had like a super good understanding of the geometry of it. Because it is labyrinthian. Yeah. Guys, unnecessary. Unnecessary. You're all gonna get your chance. Oh boy, oh boy. They're like, no, we make our own chance. Oh, how about that? That was some Zoro shit. That looked really cool. The level design, I think, might be the strongest thing about Dark Souls, about all the Soulsborne games. Like, I just think it is masterful. It's so funny, because you you see other games that just like have very obviously shoehorned in areas or like sections that just spatially don't make any sense. And I'm always flabbergasted by it because when you look at Dark Souls and how Miyazaki managed to make all of this dovetail so seamlessly, like how, how do people not just look at this blueprint? Oh my God. Oh my God. I got a new idea. Dark Souls 2 can be excluded. I mean, it still has some cool spots that connect the dots really cool, but admittedly it is not as good. Dark Souls Rule 2, just run past. I had that same problem when I played Hollow Knight. I just like so badly wanted to fight every enemy and it wasn't until extremely late in my playthrough of that game that I finally was like, oh, right. They're not worth it. This has been a Sonic game the whole time. That's a crossover I'd be willing to see. All right, so my souls are down and to the right at the halfway point. So we got to Sanic our way across. Once again, we find ourselves here with no Estus because I'm a ninny. Weren't they here? I hate how they don't drop exactly where you were. Oh my God, why would you put them here? That's so much more precarious. Oh boy, hi, hi friend. How are you? I'm a little nervous about running past you. Cause we got this dragon shit to contend with. Let's go this way. So this is where we were. Can I kick this down? We can. Beautiful. All right, that's much better. They're left where the game last saved. Okay, so that's why they can be a handful of steps away from you. Cause it's just a matter of them being where they were saved. All right. Whoa. We're here, we can level up. Um, let me look at the equipment side of things for a minute. I don't think those undead will come in here. Um, so winged spear is what that I need on it. 
13 strength and 15 dex. So we're not that far off. We could get that with the with the souls we have available. Our scimitar is already rocking. And then the short sword is the other. We have a couple short swords. The Zweihander, we won't have enough strength for forever and ever and ever. So why would I do the short sword other than the move set, right? Like that would be the big difference. That's like the classic Dark Souls combo. Big thrust from the R2 on that. I do like that. The kick. Hold, oh, you can slide down them. That's right. I forget about that. Jump attack. I might go with the short sword for a little bit and we'll see how that goes. Oh, interesting. So just the act of kicking this ladder down changes the Drake's uh, AI. That's neat. Oh, I didn't actually spend the souls. Guys, I got excited about my new short sword and almost ruined everything. All right, so what are we gonna do here? I think I'm gonna take Dex to the 15. So if I do that, we can at least take a look at the winged spear at that point. And then what do I do? Put the other bit into vitality or endurance? I think vitality here. Although I'm not gonna lie, bleed and poison resist or something I'm just gonna have to start worrying about it looks like. I think we're gonna go with this. And then let me check the winged spear out and see how that looks. All right, so now we can use the winged spear. So big single target thrusty damage, filthy dashing or filthy thrusting damage with the R2. Are there any wide sweeps? Doesn't feel like it. Jumping attack looks filthy. What if we two hand it? Oh, so I get resistances just by spending levels regardless. That's interesting. So it does behoove you, like, if you're really stuck on something to just level grind. So this is going to, it looks like this is going to maybe put me in a position where I'm doing better damage solo target. But so much of what I've been doing with the scimitar is, um, has really helped me thus far with like groups of enemies so look i think what we're gonna do oh am i medium rolling it doesn't feel like i'm as fast there oh i can just get behind the shield that's a good call that's neat yeah, I don't know that I'm ready to do any level grinding. I was just saying I know we could. Um, if I unequip this, does that change the roll? No. So is it the spear, or am I literally just not remembering how fast I rolled in general? Oh, no. That's definitely a different roll. All right. So we're going to not worry about that for now, and we're going to stick with our good buddy, the scimitar. And when you say over level Harris, like you just mean basically like rob yourself of the fun of having um having the challenge, right? Like So I can't actually get all the way down here, right? I see a bonfire though. Thank you for your sole contribution, Drake. I appreciate you. Never mind. Never mind. I didn't realize. Ooh. 
Saucy boy. The Dark Souls design concept of the permanent shortcut is among the coolest contributions that this series made to video games. I just think that is so freaking awesome. Is that the is that the newest of the Dark Souls rules? Hot fire, no touchy. What was that? I don't know if I've ever seen that one. So how often does he shoot the fire? I would love it if he would not shoot the fire. Oh god, you got me on the clip there. Alright. You know what? Oh my god, Chris. Just leave, Chris. It's a fucking Drake. You don't need that in your life. Thanks, Metal. I appreciate you coming by. Alright. Let's push a, let's push this way again. Now that I have uh, unlocked a shortcut and we don't have to worry as much about our impending doom here. Really? None of those slashes hit him? That was insane. Hi, bud. Should we try the kick on this? See if I can't draw him out. Oh, oh no, he's not interested. He's like, you think I'm just going to stand here and be your test dummy? No way. Come on. I'm going to like snicker to him like a cat look sometimes you just gotta kick with your fist sometimes it's a punch kick everyone knows this I don't why would I choose to fight him out here Chris what are you doing you don't want that in your life oh why I backpedal no no Look, terrible choices were made this day. At least we have some Estus this time. And then the other one's in the corner. Yeah. So the Estus is going to give me like a stay of execution. I love, so humanity on rats. Um, humanity drops from rats more than any other enemy in the game. Uh, because they feast on all the corpses that they find lying around in Lordran, which I think is just delightful. Ooh, I am officially in the Undead Parish. I can't open this, right? We don't have super strength? No, that would have been cool, though. Like, what if they just don't tell you about that? They're like, oh, yeah, the Chosen Undead has super strength. Mika, what's up, buddy? Yeah, man, we're finally tackling it. It sat, it sat on the backlog for too long as it is, so it's time. They have more armor. Where is behind the gate? That's a good question. Can I see it? Is this the bonfire that I saw at the Drake's feet? It sure feels like it. Oh, I gotta pay attention. I'm dying. All right, we are out of Estes, so this has become a suicide run. What the? Oh, is that the, is it an armored pig, right? Yeah, no, guys, F that. I don't want any of that. Not while I'm poisoned. That's rude. Guys, that's rude. All right, I don't think there's any hope for me, so we're just gonna eat it. Why would you slam that shut, guys? I was trying to get there. Almost. Almost, team. Oh, Vivi. Chilling at the bonfire. It's safer there. So does that gate close the minute I trigger the pig? Like, do I need to just bum rush that whole section? Because that would make sense to me. I just turned to fight, but it wasn't the correct alcove, and I just felt really silly. 
I can't believe none of those strikes hit him during the get up. Ooh, the long sword. We'll play with that in a minute. I don't want to. I don't want to get distracted here. Oh, so the first time is different again. Those are such neat little choices. Definitely almost died. Let's dance. Let's dance, bud. It's been, you've been on this aqueduct for a long time. This isn't an aqueduct, is it? How you feeling? You all right? You getting dizzy, bud? I think I'm getting dizzy. You're silly. Virgil's hello. So I can't kick with the scimitar because we do the backflip. And I could have switched to the fist. But I was also having fun dancing. There's so few moments for joy in Dark Souls. Sometimes you gotta just make your own moments. Not getting poisoned here would be really awesome. I'm literally gonna cowardly let this poison timer, timer count down. Don't worry, you are not dumb because I absolutely uh, did not know about it and forgot kicking was a thing for a little while because even though the tutorial told me how to kick, I wasn't kicking. So I just assumed I was an idiot. All right, so now we gotta go the long way. We have a decent amount of Estus, so I guess we can try and tangle with Warpig. What's up here? I didn't do this. Other than more spinning in circles. Oh, no, that's even worse. I hate that. Why you got why you got hit me with the uppercut, son? All right, look. I was not looking for stairwell parties. So, new plan, I'm not going to go up those stairs. I have to we're going to have to tackle some of these black knights at some point, but like it doesn't need to be right away. What do we have for deaths? 16 deaths. Somehow I don't feel like that's as bad as I thought it was going to be on the first night, if I'm honest. And that's not just like me trying to protect my own ego. Like that's genuinely, I'm somewhat surprised. Ooh, I didn't get the backstab. That's unfortunate. The rip logs out in force. So again, it wasn't the prettiest kick because it looked like a punch, but just assume it was a kick. I'm always missing with the first strike on these rats. It's really irritating. I guess I could try and do the R2. There's the poison. When you aggroed the other guy and went up, I was already prepared for the outcome. I it, It's funny, right? Because I feel like the Black Knights, like they're intentionally set up in such a way as to make it so that you should be able to fight them alone, right? Like that's just part of the design of where they're placed. But man, it is not hard to goof it in such a way as to then have another buddy. Well, if you saw someone do it last night, at least I'm not as embarrassed because it seems to be a little bit more common. All right, we got to clear off homeboy to the right immediately. He's going to clear us off. Oh, boy. Guys, leave me alone. I'm poisoned. Oh, shit. He hit me with a full head of steam. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, rip armor pig.
You're right. As soon as I was poisoned, I should have just turned it into a death run. The merchant here in the Berg doesn't sell antidotes, right? Have you ever played Illusion of Gaia? Yo, Harris, Illusion of Gaia is like one of my favorite games of all time on the Super Nintendo. I love Illusion of Gaia, and it's a game that no one ever talks about. You think that pig is Hamlet Reborn? Isn't the pig's name Hamlet? I think it's Hamlet. That's like the new life that Hamlet got to live because of his noble sacrifice. Spoilers for everyone who has not played the Super Nintendo masterpiece, Illusion of Gaia. He was such a fun animal companion. Oh, with the double stab, come on, brah. I gotta practice these kicks. I'm not landing them. There we go. But of course it wasn't when I needed it. Really stupid S to sit. So I get the kick timing off, but of course it's while I have the scimitar up and when I didn't need it in the first place. So that was really just kind of a comedy of errors. Oh my God. <laughs> I like, I have to just commit to it, right? I'm so scared about fighting all the rats at once because I don't want to get poisoned. But if I stay out to fight them, I'm just going to plummet. I'm just going to die. Rat power. They are, they are starting to accumulate into one of the more fearsome foes I've uh, faced off against considering normal deaths and poison deaths that I've received. Man, hair is excellent call though on Illusion of Gaia. Now I'm like, you know, gonna go dig my copy up. Bro, with the widest swing. Your arm hasn't moved with that much dexterity in countless millennia and you uncork it on me? Poor shit. I wish there was a smarter way to take care of this guy. Like, I don't like how you have to bait him out, right? It, it, it's designed. You have to bait him out. But he's got such a reach on him that to bait him out, you're just asking for the spear. All right. I gotta like anticipate that first little head waggle he does. Poisons, there it is. Miyazaki is like, Hey guys, you know how in most other RPGs, rats are like the dumbest enemy you fight and you just walk all over them? Guess what? They're gods. The old poisonous dick bite. They are masters of it. Yeah, I've already run into a handful of like fairly frustrating wall clanks. Um, so that does not shock me. All right, I guess we're just gonna do this the uh, the YOLO way. Oh God, no, I didn't. I, I mean, I wanted to live this part of you only live once. I didn't want to immediately die. That was not the YOLO strategy. A NOLO? That was 100% a NOLO. It's a good thing Vivi cashed in that overtime because at this point, I'm gonna spend more than a half hour just trying to get between these two bonfires. I did have ribs this week. So maybe, maybe the problems I'm having with armor pig are like just my, my cross to bear for enjoying some delicious ribs. Which I'm fine with, right? Like if that's the price to pay a delicious rib dinner and then it means that armor pig like absolutely clowns on me for a while i think i came out ahead there we go there's a satisfying kick the drake bonfire bypasses the rats so you're saying if i if i had been able to like bomb through that hallway and get the bonfire under the drake i wouldn't have to dick with these guys because i'm gonna be honest that seems way cooler oh no 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 Okay, and we didn't activate the other one. So you know what you do? You stand here. 
You gotta catch your breath. You've been doing all this rap fighting. You're tired. I can still get past the Drake. It's just more of a puzzle now. All right, well, we might explore that. Because I like the idea of not having to use the rats as part of my pathing. I don't know why I'm trying to roll up the ladder. Although that would be pretty rad if Logus could like do the Metroid like ball. All right. Did the double. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, guys. The pig is a mini boss, so if I do manage to kill him, he goes away, right? Isn't he a non respawning enemy? Activate you. Did I activate everyone? I don't think we got the pig this time. He's a piggy boss. That's way more fun. All right. Slow and steady. I should consider doing things like equipping some of the other items we've found, such as throwing knives and things like that, that I could be pulling with and making my life a little easier. But somehow, that seems like an advanced tactic. Oh, you son of a bitch with the backstab. Oh my god, I dodged into the second one. I wanted him dead so bad, it's gonna cost me my life. Yep. Yep. Impatience. It's like The Witcher. You can use your oils and potions or just sword. I shouldn't have said anything about the, I feel pretty good about 16 deaths. Cause I'm just cursing myself at this point. So wait, his front was actually facing me there? That was so weird. This is my fault. No, I'm excited about the overtime. I'm gonna be honest. One of the things about the channel that's kind of like strange is that a lot of the games I'm playing are games I'm really enjoying. And then I've kind of put myself in this box where I can only play them while I'm streaming. So I don't mind the overtime. I don't, I didn't react at all there. I just like let him kill me, which was an interesting choice. It's a long run to the next fire. Well, that's the hope is maybe we can hit the next fire before the end of the stream. Cause I would feel real frustrated otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the rats in the hallway there. I could just use the spear that I know attacks straight forward. I can, babe, I can do my own rip counter if you're frustrated doing it. Okay. We're going to try this a couple more times, and if I don't get it, we will almost assuredly just try and go the Drake route. Um, just so that I can at least hang my hat on some kind of additional performance. A little, a little bonus progress. There we go. That is the cleanest we've done the chunk here, and then now... I'm going to go wing spear and we'll see if I can't kill these rats a little easier with a weapon that goes right down the pike. Oh, but I got to get out of the menu. Oh my God. He's boned it up. He still managed to screw it up.
I'm frustrated by his deaths too. I demand more. I won't be. I'm not gonna keep the spear on Mika. I don't. I don't. I'm not entirely prepared to to go medium roll. I just. I'm having such a hard time with these rats. Although, admittedly, the spear has not yielded much better performance because their hitbox is tough when I'm swinging wide on them. And I'm hoping the spear. Yeah, there you go. A little, little right down the pike action. See what I did there? Because I'm using the pike. Don't worry about it. Um, let me. Yeah, I want the scimitar because it's the move set that I'm the most comfortable with. Can we start playing Drunk Souls at 21 deaths? If I don't even start drinking until after midnight, I think this is maybe one of those times where our age difference becomes very apparent. If I started drinking after midnight, it would probably entail me leaving a goodbye note to my wife and I would just pass into the great beyond. It might literally kill me. <laughs> Next pipe pun, you can hit the highway. I'd have to turn onto that pike, though. It would have to be like a turning pike pond. All right, we have these boys again without a peg. I like this guy rushing up because maybe we can ice him before his buddy shows up. Weapon at risk. Oh, no. What have I done? Guys, I forgot all about weapon durability. Chris has some alcohol after 12 and the you died screen appears IRL or I turn into a gremlin. It might be like a mogwai situation. All right, so now it's me and Senior Peg. I, I don't want to fight him in this tight tunnel, right? Because like that does not lend itself well to fighting him. But I also don't want to fight him out there where he's got backup from the dudes up on the archway. Oh, hang on. Another staircase appears. What if he just didn't have his friends up top? I don't like that I gotta get through homeboy to get to them though. An alluring skull. You love to see it. I have like just too little endurance to really go to combo town with this weapon. That's a horrible choice. That's the worst of choices. I know it wasn't actually a choice. It was an error, but it was still horrible. Picturing it a wiki situation. Senor Pig can be turned into crispy pig skins. Ah. We can make ourselves some cracklins. Uh, and you guys tell me if I'm wrong here on this one, but there's really nothing I can do about my scimitar being so damaged until I get to one of the blacksmiths, right? Like I need a blacksmith to repair it, unless I buy like a repair kit. Almost just jumped to my death like a dummy. Puma just fucked you. That was not very Hakuna Matata of you, bro. I love that, like, the cheeky corner turn he does sometimes where he's just like, nah, never mind. I am, I am down to fight. Let's do this. I don't know that I actually saw that much of an increase in performance with the wing spear, so we're going to just try this. Repair kit can be caught, bought at the Katana guy. Yeah, I thought that was one of the things in his inventory. Oh my god. The clutchest tightrope roll maybe of my entire career. There's also a blacksmith available. Oh. Hmm. 
What is that headbutt shit, you son of a bitch? All right, all right, just, just eat. Just consume my flesh. I like how when you get up to the top of that ladder, they hit you with the undead perish transition uh, text as if you were actually making progress. Cause like, I don't feel like I'm making progress. I feel like I'm getting my butt kicked. So what good is this? Is this a dead end? No, it's not. So I go down this. Why would I go back for the souls? There's like barely any souls there. Oh boy. Don't mind me, everyone. I'm just dying. Cause I don't have any blood in my body. Oh, I can't roll through that. That was interesting. Sure. Makes sense. A mystery key. Well, it's a mystery. I don't know what it does. Technically three, but two would be difficult. <laughs> There's some advanced traversal we could get at. All right, so I think we're gonna go poke our head up and take a look at the Drake and see if we can't maybe do things a little bit smarter. What does the mystery key have to tell me here? The purpose of this key is unknown. It appears to be a basic prison cell key. It's a mystery to everyone. That's probably the most appropriate description afterlife. <laughs> All right, so let's go up and take a look at the Drake section. and see if we can't solve a little bit of the confusion I have. Get in tight. So can I backtrack? That's just back to Sunbro. And if I peek out, he fights. Okay, and we have registered that I died immediately. Oh, hold up. He did like a full run that time. That's a big long fire that goes the entire length and stays lit longer. Almost didn't get back into my hiding spot. I mean, if there's a window here, I I don't see it. I've only got him successfully to do that fly from one end to the other thing once. He's gotten really good at making fire. Bro, I've been practicing. You gotta see my fire spit. Logus, Logus, you watching? All right, so I don't think this is the way. Because none of that seems to do anything. If I backtrack, is it gonna look different? It won't matter, it's gonna kill me. You're not wrong. At least I was resigned to my doom. I prefer the smell of fresh barbecue when it's not me though. Like when you are the barbecue in question, you only get a few scant moments where you get to enjoy that barbecue smell before it becomes a smell that is not helpful. I have to be hugging the other wall or else I get toasted. So that's good to know.
I mean, my shield doesn't do anything, right? That seems like it would be crazy. Uh, kind, kind of? Oh, I wanted to at least get that item. The knight can go further because of its OP armor. Alas, but for a knight's armor. Well, gang, we're coming up on the end of overtime and we're at a bit of an impasse. I'd hate to, I'd hate to cut the stream without getting to at least another bonfire. But we're in kind of a sticky spot. We got hung up on the Taurus Demon for ages. And now between a uh, drake and a nest of rats, I have uh, somewhat lost the thread a bit. So he's got a couple different types of fire he does. He does that big sweeping one. He does the one right down the pike. I could swear we had one where he swooped overhead. Am I imagining such a thing? Just stop and think about it. I mean... I, that seems like very good advice, but I don't know that I am putting the pieces together. I can't do anything to him. I don't have a weapon that's got that kind of range. He's really cool looking though. Uh, hi. That wasn't really my intention. I didn't really want to fight you. Oh, God. What did I do to cause such a thing? Oh, my God. Okay, so I can bait him to come down. I, I can't imagine a world in which I can kill him. But we might be able to bait him down and then I can tear down the way and get to the bonfire. Man, maybe maybe me testing for a four digit death counter was not a, a foolish thought after all. We'll get him to clean up our mess. Appreciate you. Ornstein with the follow. Thank you so much. I appreciate you coming by. A lot of times I ask people when they follow if they found the channel because they are big fans of the game. But I suppose in your instance, that isn't really a question, is it? A thousand deaths coming soon brought to you by Red Drake. So how did I get him to pop down last time? Did he lose sight of me for too long? Cause I didn't leave from here. I was taking an, I was like taking a minute to figure out what the hell to do. And we were admiring his uh, delightful scaly face. Maybe if we compliment him, he will come down. Can't see me. Peace nerd. No, no, don't have a big butt. Just stop and think about it. Oh, look at you. And then now I can open this, which is the flip side of the area where we went to. And so now I can go this way, but circumnavigate the rats. All right. Oh, and then this later, I don't know how later, but later, I know this is a spot that you can come see Solaire. Well, these guys are just here gone mad. I don't want to kill you guys for free souls. That feels bad. You guys are just having a hard time out here. 
Oh, sorry guys. I mean, guys, why don't you stand up here and take in some of this beautiful sunlight? That seems like the best thing you can do. And I think that's what we're gonna do too. We're a couple minutes shy of it technically being a full half hour overtime, but it's as good a place to stop as we are gonna find. So I think this is where we are going to call it. We, uh, let's take a look real quick. So we're level 16. 25 deaths on night one. I don't feel like that's horrific. I mean, I'm certainly not going to set any records, but I don't feel like that's awful. I got a bunch of souls banked with items that we could be using. And then what did we find for equipment and stuff? We got some shards for when we get to a blacksmith. I got to fix my scimitar before we can use that. We did wind up with some new items that I didn't really look at. Hollow warrior helm and hollow soldier helm. Helm worn by hollow warriors. Although it is made of iron, it is old, battered, and worn out. It is wise to wear a sturdy form of head protection against arrows and other physical threats. And then this is the same thing, just not as haggard, right? It may be old and battered, but its iron construction makes it quite sturdy. Neato. Neato. These sad bros need to 420 praise it. Come on, y'all. It's just put your hands up. All right, gang, we are going to we are going to say goodbye to Logus for the time being. Let me see. Do they give me a wave to start with? They do. Bye, guys. We'll see you later, Logus.